don't get confused by the title of this movie. This is not a Fall Out Boy track. This is the newest iteration of Frankenstein, written and directed by Bomani J Story. And what a fucking debut. Honestly. Um, I love when writers take old school monsters and tread new ground with them. You know, think the Underworld series. The recent Invisible Man's really good if you haven't seen it. One of my favourites, Baz Luhrmann's Ro- Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, I said it. Those two are fucking toxic monsters. Um, this time, we get Frankenstein if he was transposed into Menace to Society. And I enjoyed the fuck out of it. This movie follows biology prodigy Vicaria as after watching death after death occur in her community, she decides, like all diseases, death can be cured, and because she's a little go-getter, she gets it done. Now, I want to address something first. I've seen a lot of people online give this movie poor reviews because they claim that it's unrealistic that she has a lab that she's like jury-rigged in a abandoned storage unit. And to those people, I say, fuck off, cunt. The original Frankenstein was set in the 1700s. They didn't even know what a germ was until my boy Louis Pasteur came along in the 1850s. So if you can believe they had the scientific knowledge in the 1700s to raise the dead, you can believe this one. I'm all for fair criticism, but if that's your argument, let me know, because I'll buy you a basket since you like picking cherries so fucking much. I recommend watching this film if you love like 90s gangster media, Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society, even a bit of Friday. There's some funny scenes in there that that aren't out of place. Um, You want to see a very satisfying parent-teacher interview? Fucking send them, Donald. Send them. It's so satisfying. Um, If you love the tale of Frankenstein, of course, this is Frankenstein all over. And if you love indie horror movies, this is for you. If you like those four things... This is all of those put together. It's great. I don't recommend watching this if you hate surgical gore. Once again, as I said, there's a lot of it in here. It's Frankenstein. If you don't like politics in your horror, okay, I get it. But, you know, most horror has it in it in some way, shape, or form. If you can't forgive low-budget special effects, this is a micro-budget film. It's a micro-budget indie film. There is, there is some dodgy special effects in this. That being said, Leia de Leon Hayes as Vicaria is fucking transcendent. She has mad scientist vibes from scene one, and the scenes where she's like working in the lab, you can just see the depth of her genius and obsession like shining through. She is simultaneously in this a pillar of the community and fucking depraved, and I love watching her switch roles from scene to scene. My favourite character in this, though, is Vicaria's dad, Donald. I loved this dude. I love this dude so much. He was such a supportive dad. He has her back 100% of the time, all the time. He did, like he was working two jobs to support her. Yes, he's not perfect, but he's putting in the effort. He, he like, strong bandit from Bluey Vibes. He is king shit. He's the fucking man. Denzel Whitaker plays Kango, who's, like, the shot caller of the neighbourhood. And he was a child actor in Training Day. And you can tell he's been in the industry for ages because he he made me, by the end of it, like an absolute scumbag of a character. That's how good he is. So the acting's pretty good for the most part in this. There are some cringe scenes with kids, but for the most part, it's pretty solid. This movie has a lot to say about the dangers of being a black person in a low socioeconomic area. Yes, there is a monster running around, but he's not even the most likely cause of death. Between the shitty cops, the pearl-clutching teachers, gangbangers, and the, the abundance of drug violence, you have no idea who is safe and where the next threat t- to the characters are coming from. And bec- I mean, I love the characters so much in this. I was so nervous for them in every scene. So I think it works really well. Like the original Frankenstein, this is a tragic tale of obsession, death, and the dangers of loss of innocence. It was. It's made on a micro budget, so there are some rough special effects. Lightning being one of them, but you can't really have Frankenstein without lightning. So I will give that. Um, you know, it's a, it's. You want to see the Tesla bolts shooting across the screen? It's it's fucking Frankenstein, man. You can't have it without it. So I'll forgive that. 
as I said, there are a lot of kids in this, so there are some cringy acting parts. But if you like indie horror and you love when an old story gets a new coat of paint, have a crack at this one. It's it's a really, really fun monster movie with a tr- twist. I enjoyed the sh- hell out of it. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow for another review. Peace. Peace. <laughs>